Dear friends, dear students, dear listeners, respected teachers, all the officers who are working in the field of education and other areas of life. Friends, today we are to discuss one important sector of management. This is one of the important papers of education, particularly for the students of education of sixth semester. And this is optional paper particularly, and it is 05 paper number. And the first sector of this paper is educational management. Concept of educational management, definition of educational management, characteristics of educational management, etc. etc. Friends, uh, whenever we study the term management, then we see that this term has special significance in every area of our life. And this, this is one of the important terms which we generally utter in our day to day life every time without understanding or having the proper scientific definition. Still, we use the term and we understand its meaning. Once we see the origin of the term, we see that this term has been management. This term has linked with the term manage. And when we see the history of the term manage, we see that this term has been derived from one Italian word, manegere. That is M-A-N-E-Z-Z-I-A-R-E. -E. From Italian term manegere, the term manage has been derived. And the meaning of the term manegere is train a horse. So the train a horse is the basic meaning of the term menagerie, which has been linked with the term menace. Friends, whenever we come back to our practical life situation, we see that this term carry particular meaning in every aspect in all areas of our life. In our personal life, we say basically success of life basically depends on time management. And it's a special art. It's a special it needs some important techniques. Business management, we see. Management of educational activities. Management of uh, NGO activities of different NGOs. Management of commercial establishment. Management of an organization. Management of an industry. Management of uh, different, uh, you see, activities going to different fields, etc., etc. So when we discuss the term from general perception of life, we see that management is a particular art with the help of which we can accomplish life mission or mission of or the goals of a particular activity. And from general perception, this term includes five special activities. And these are, first one is, means these are the most important parameters of management. First one is the planning. Planning is one of the first parameter aspect. Second one is organization. It is the second parameter. Third one is stopping. This is the third parameter, important parameter. Fourth one is directing and the fifth one is controlling. So planning is important. Management is a process of planning. In general, management is, a, is an activity of organizing or organization. Management is, a, is an art of stuffing. Management is an art of directing. Management is an art of controlling. And when we say as planning then we must have to have the idea of the term planning because without planning we never can become successful in area of our life even from personal life to other areas to professional life for being successful or for becoming successful planning has special importance and this term is well linked with the term management in general and friends planning whenever we are to define it whenever Understandably, we are to explain it. It means that planning is the process of thinking about the activities required to achieve a desired goal. I just them to repeat it for your good learning. Planning is the process of thinking about the activities required to achieve desired goal. It is the first and foremost activity to, to achieve desired results. I just them to repeat it again. It is the first and foremost activity to achieve desired results. It is or it involves the creation and maintenance of a plan such as psychological aspects that require conceptual skills. So planning has special importance in the process of management or for becoming successful in any area or in all areas or in every area planning has importance 
without planning no person no people no organization can become successful the second parameter is organization and this has also special importance in the process of management in personal life management in general life situation management in uh, business establishment management in other areas organization whenever we have to define it we must have to say that organization is the activity of making preparation or arrangements for something it is the pre it is the activity of making preparation or arrangements for something so this this is very important parameter without making preparation or without making proper arrangements for achieving goal we never can become successful first of all we have to plan and then support we have to prepare the activities the other ways and means or we have to prepare the arrangements with the help of which we have to practically realize the planning the third one is stuffing you see whenever you are working in an establishment then how many people are to work there what will be the role or roles of different people suppose there is a director there is the deputy director there is other people means office staff members there is the great for employees if you come back to an educational or your family suppose if you come back then your parents are there your father is the head or your mother is the head of head of the family then sport you people are the members of the family and for the management of family activities your father either he is to play the role of uh, you see he is to play the main role or your mother is to play the main role and then sport according to the plan of family management you are to you see uh, proceed towards the achievement of goals of the family then sport the most important you see other factor factor is directing directing is very much important you see parameter of management directing means the boss will direct to the next one then next one is will direct to the others and accordingly they will perform their duties and successfully the mission or vision or goal will be achieved and then for controlling is very much important without controlling no organization no institute no person can become successful for success you see there is the need of controlling suppose if you are to become successful in your personal life you are to plan and then sport you are to uh, plan in nice manner then sport you are to organize all the activities for the application of the planning and then sport stuffing you yourself is to achieve it so there is no only one staff member that is only you and then sport you are to uh, direct yourself where to go how to act, how to become you see how to remain busy in different activities and then sport you are to control yourself because if you cannot learn the means and mechanism of controlling you never can manage your time in proper manner so friends in personal life situations these five parameters that is first one is planning second one is organization third one is stuffing in individual life there is no question of stuffing then directing is very much important and controlling is other important parameter of management in general and then sport you see from general life situation once we come back to the field of education then we need six parameters there are six particular areas or six concerning issues six concerning you see most important factors which play definite roles in the process of management so when we say as educational management or try to define educational management we must have to say or we have to define it it is an art of managing educational activity or activities for the accomplishment of educational goal it is an art of managing educational activities for the accomplishment of educational goal once we come back to personal life it is an art of managing personal activities for the achievement of life goals for the achievement of the aims of your own life friends there are six parameters of educational management and these six parameters are first one is educational first one is educational planning second one is educational organization third one is educational stuffing fourth one is educational directing fifth one is educational controlling and the last one is educational coordinating the first parameter has special significance for the successful 
you see for the success of every educational plan or for the success of any educational plan or for the success of any educational sorry every all educational plans and any educational institution educational planning basically means planning the activities for the accomplishment of educational goal once we discuss educational planning from the parameter of an educational institution that then we must have to say that educational planning covers all activities for the accomplishment of educational goal then the second one is educational organization means for the practical realization of the planning there should be some kind of arrangements and those arrangements are specially meant by educational organization so educational organization is an art with the help of which educational arrangements for the accomplishment of educational goals are accomplished or practically realized third one is staffing educational staffing there is the need of an educational staff for the accomplishment of educational goal for the practical realization of educational planning once we come back to your own institution you see that your principal is there then after vice principal is there then after office is there then after office ud is there office assistants are there four grades are there professors are there associate professors are there assistants prof assistant professors are there then uh, lecturers are there then sport librarian is there library staff members are there like this way different people are working in the educational establishment or in your educational institution so friends staffing particularly indicates or staffing means the uh, you see man the organization the setting or the setting for the accomplishment of setting of manpower for for the accomplishment of educational goal and then sport uh, we see the other activity which we can say is after staffing that is uh, after staffing uh, we see directing is very much important and without directing you see or without giving any direction we never can practically realize all the planning of an educational institution or an educational system so friends directing means to manage or control somebody or something it, it is an activity to manage or control somebody or something and with the help of managing or controlling somebody uh, or something we can help to practically realize the educational planning for the achievement of educational goal the uh, fourth fifth one is educational controlling controlling has special importance and whenever we discuss this parameter of educational management or this aspect of educational management then we see that controlling means to keep something within certain limit to keep something within certain limit limit particularly if you come back to your institution you will see that your principal is there vice principal is there the principal has definite roles vice principal has definite roles the office staffs do have well defined definite roles the professors do have well defined definite roles the associate professors do have well defined definite roles the assistant professors do have well defined definite roles the librarian has well defined definite roles the library staff members do have well defined definite roles the students do have well defined definite roles so we are to keep every or of every segment of the institution within certain limit and it's the basic duty in the institution particularly of the principal to you see keep everybody under certain limit at the time of performing or playing their role for the accomplishment of educational goal and these goals are actually educational code of conduct is there which is being set by the educational department of the government of 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 the government either state government or uh, by the central government or different departments of education of the state as well as central government the sixth one parameter or the aspect of educational management is coordinating friends coordinating is one of the important you see parameter of educational management and coordinating also demands artistic capabilities of the coordinator particularly the once you discuss about this then we, you must have to say that about the role of the principal in coordinating all the members who are working in the educational institution for the accomplishment of educational goal his role or her roles do have special importance and 
uh, for your understanding, whenever you are to define the term coordinating or coordinate, you are to say or you are to define it to put in the same order or rank means to put in the same order or rank means orderly if we do not you see perform roles then we never can help the, an institution or a system to achieve its set goal so friends these are the six parameters of educational management and all these six parameters do have special role and with the help of the performance of all the roles of all the parameters we can achieve educational goals in nice manner so friends we have to stop here next time i will discuss about the specialities or characteristics of educational management and you will understand the concept again there thank you so much